outpatient offices, doctor's offices, ambulatory sites, so that we can bring care to more people close to home. Better care closer to home. That's what Cone Health President Terry Atkin explained drove the move to merge with Centera. Engage in what we refer to as value-based health care. It could take two full years for the merger to be complete and the impacts to be felt in the triad. In that time, Cone Health will begin to focus on better cardiovascular services, access to ambulance care, and expand on virtual doctor visits. Uh, number of virtual visits during the pandemic actually increased by 10 times or more. As we have needed to expand access virtually, we've really learned a lot about what's possible. There are around 30,000 employees within the Centera Healthcare System. Cone Health has about 13,000 employees. With that existing manpower, the hospitals will be able to expand into communities with little access to health care. This will lead to more jobs. We have to have sufficient numbers of really qualified, capable people um, to cover and staff those, those facilities. Um, digital health as well. I mean, that takes an infrastructure, that takes people to manage it, enable it. So that, that's, that's going to be an opportunity. The city of Greensboro will serve as a health insurance plan headquarters. Cone Health patients will be able to choose more options for health services. North Carolina is actively looking to expand its Medicaid managed care program. And so Centera working with Cone could be looking at ways to enhance access that way. During my interview with Mr. Adkin, I asked him specifically about the chances of job cuts. With no layoffs, if it became necessary, we certainly would uh, try and handle any changes with attrition or reassignment and that kind of thing.